awesome. No context for this, but I can down this whole bottle of water in one go. You wanna see? sick after that. Uh, it was not fun. But I can do it. I did it. I'm good. I'm good. <coughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eventually. So what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Um, I uploaded a video last, well early this week. Probably the Monday or Tuesday. One of the two days. I think it was a Monday. But I kind of wanted to get two videos out this week because, you know, this global pandemic is going on. So, so for today, we're going to be looking at some memes. So, you know, we can um, brighten up your day and, you know, not all be down. So, if you live in London right now, like I do, Jesus fucking Christ, the weather today. The weather this whole pandemic. It's fucking hot, mate. I went out for a walk. And I was listening to um, my mate Nico's podcast. Listen, go listen to it. Link in the description. Because it's actually a good listen. Go listen to it. Um, but it was really, really fucking hot outside. And whenever I went to the shops, I went to the shop, I went to the shop today. You know, to get milk. Milk was nice and cool. I also went and got myself a drink for myself. The, the fridge, they keep the, no, they keep the drinks in the fridge and shit like that. I got it, it wasn't cold, it was warm. It was like lukewarm. I was just like, I'll drink it anyway. I'll put it in the fridge. But nah, man, fix your fridge. Like, it's not even cold, it's not even cool. It's not even cool, it's warm. I don't like warm. It's like, especially in this weather, like no, I don't want it warm, I want it cold. Yeah, let's go get into the memes. Okay, meme one. All 11 coronavi coronavirus patients in Greenland, or Greenland, Greenland, I, I say, have recovered making making it the only country with no active cases. That was the world news. Every person that played Plaguing evolved. Hey, I've seen this one. Hey, look, I've played Plague, Plague Inc. evolved, and it is fair. The two countries that don't get if, if inf infected is either Greenland, Greenland or Madagascar. Like Madagascar is one of the hardest ones to you know get because it only has like a bus, like, like not a bus, a boat depot or whatever it is. They don't have like they don't have a, like planes or shit like that. It's just boats. And once the boats stop, it's harder to spread it to Madagascar. So therefore, you most likely will lose if you don't know what you're doing. So there's that. One is very controversial. Um, and you'll see why in a second. The reason Batman doesn't cover his whole face is because he needs the police to know he's white. Why wouldn't you say something so controversial yet so brave? It's like, like, no. I feel like, no, that's not the reason why. I feel like if they wanted to, if they wanted to, they could have, they could have put a ba black Batman in, you know. They could, instead of Robert Pattinson, they could have done like, you know what, fuck it, let's put Idris Elba as Batman. But like, if they wanted to, they could, they could have, because if you think about it, and you, you can't say I'm not wrong, because if you think about it, if you go to Marvel and the, the most recent Fantastic Four movie, the Human Torch was black, which I've got no problem with, but it doesn't match the comics because in the comics he's white. You know, he's like, he's white, so, so there's, there's that thing. There's that. There's always that. So it's. I mean, in my personal point of view, it's so like if that was to ever happen, I wouldn't care. If like as long as the actor's good, I wouldn't care what color the skin was. I don't even care if it was an Asian Batman. If the actor's good, I won't care. I feel like people are going outside more often now. Yeah, don't worry about this guy. He just points out people who show basic human decency and staying inside and respecting the health of others. I mean, fair, that's fair. But hey, I'm one of the people that do go out. Can we dog not? 
I'm mean, not. I'm one of those people who do go out, but not in for the reasons for other people are going out. Like, oh, they're going out to have a drink in like in like a park. Or I saw the other day. I saw when I because I have a dog, right? I have a dog, so I have to say I take my walks. That's my exercise, right? Because you know you're allowed to do exercise, right? So that's when I, whenever I go out, or if I go out to a shops or something like that, for essentials like milk or bread, or whatever, whatever it is, I need to go get. I'm not out there going like, oh, I need to go. I'm gonna go out with my mates, gonna get drunk in like a field or something. But you know, the other day I went, I saw, I was walking my dog, and I saw t two parents with their child having a picnic on a field. I'm like, what the fuck? Also, also, I also saw kids in like a, like a little like field. Cause where I live, I live near like a like a little stream, but it's like a ditch really. It's like a like a rank dirty ditch. But the kids are going in the ditch and playing in it. I'm just like, the fuck. I'm gonna mind my own business and walk away. But I'm like, the fuck is going on here then? It's it's weird. It's really weird because people are going out for fun. I think this is think is this think this coronavirus is a joke, and it's not a joke really. It's actually getting worse by the day. But you know, oh well. What can you do? You can't tell them no. Tell them no. They won't listen. Okay. This is. I feel like this is very. I hate dogs, well my neighbours dogs, because they don't stop barking when I film, and I think they know I'm filming, and it's really annoying, so if you hear that I'm sorry. Okay, so one of the reasons, I know when you was a kid and you first go around to someone's house and you, your friend goes, hey, want want to eat something? You go, yeah I can eat, yeah sure. And then the friend goes, Mum, my friend wants to eat something. And you're just like, no, because you feel bad for asking, even though you're the guest. But you feel bad for saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm hungry. And you're just, like, you just find it very awkward. That's how I felt as a kid. Because whenever I went to my mate's house for the first time, I'm just like, shit, I feel bad for asking for anything. But I felt bad asking for the to, to use the toilet sometimes. It's like, oh, yeah, where's your toilet? Because I went to my mate's house a few months ago for the first time and I said I, I needed the toilet really badly but I never told her, I never asked her because I felt that would be awkward. I never asked her, yo, can I use the toilet? So I felt bad if I asked, you know? Okay, the next one. You know when it's like 1am and you, you're, you're, you're still awake, you're watching a movie, you're watching Netflix or you're watching YouTube, whatever you're doing and you're like, you know what, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go downstairs and make, make me a snack. So you go do that. You put, whatever you put in the microwave, like you put like a noodles in the microwave. Whatever you do, you put something, you put leftovers in the microwave. And then when it's on one second, you, and you press, you stop the microwave before it does the beeping noise so you don't have to wake up your family. Yeah, this is this picture. Um, I relate to this. It's like a really high on a high level, but I mean, as you grow up, when you grow older, it's not really you don't really care about it. If that makes sense. YouTube and Soviet Russia are basically the same thing. They both like red. Doesn't allow a negative opinion. Good. Massive overlord Stalin and Susan <laughs> don't care about their viewers. Don't care about its citizens. Forces propaganda on citizens, forces propaganda on views, viewers. I mean, I won't say YouTube is bad as the Soviet Russia, but kind of similar. Like, doesn't care about views. Are you talking about YouTube itself or YouTubers? Because if we're talking about YouTubers, I would disagree with that one, because a lot of them do care about their followers or you know, the people that view their videos. Like, I care about my subscribers. Like, I care. Doesn't allow negative opinions. I mean, fair, that's fair. I I know that drama happens and then people, oh, this is negative. But, but not really, because if it's a drama, then it goes up. The views go up and YouTube will care for it. It's like, oh, look, there's, 
there's views on this. Let's get it, let's get this number one trending. You know, you know like that. Massive overlord so Susan. I have not met the woman. I don't know if she does anything. I I see people who do massive complaints towards her. But I don't know. This is the last minute. You know when you're sitting down, you know, like you're doing your business. You're doing your business. Right? And you're looking at memes. You are going through your phone, you look through memes, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you're going through. And you feel like it's gone like been like oh it's been like a few minutes, like ten minutes. But it's actually been forty five minutes. And when you stand up, you st you finally stand up and then your fucking legs that like, have gone numb. Basically this picture <laughs> it's like literally how it feels. It happens to me all the time. Even if I'm like even if I'm like done in like two minutes, I'm still on the I'm like still scrolling through TikTok or Instagram or even Twitter, and then like a few like after like a few a few minutes, I'm like get up and it's like oh my legs, it's like my leg hurts and you're just like it's just like what the fuck? It's like ow, oh, okay this hurts. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave that video there. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're new because I make content all the time. I'm making, I'm trying to make more content during this COVID-19 situation. Also, also I have this kind of thing where, no I've been doing like podcasts, right? How about, no, I know you, some of you guys like my series Dunny's Thoughts, right? I was thinking like, because it doesn't do really much, it doesn't really do that well on YouTube. I was thinking, how about if I turn that into a podcast series, and you know I'll make I'll talk about what I want to talk about on my podcast, upload it to Spotify, then you guys can listen to it if you really want to. How do you guys feel about that? I think it'll be a good idea. Also, if you guys want to follow on to my day-to-day -day life, follow me on my social media, so that's like my Instagram or my Twitter. That is down below in the description because trust me I need more followers on both apps like seriously I need more followers but with that being said guys you guys are awesome I'm going to see you guys in the next video peace